Hello guys, in this video we are discuss about a Maven project. So how we can create a Maven project. So in this video, we are learn from the scratch, like how we can create a project. So the question statement is this, you can see here, create a JDBC application that follows a DAO pattern by using Maven to implement the following functionality. Create a database DB1 and table employee with the following fields like employee ID name, after that address and salaries. Then we apply these methods, register employee, get employee by ID, list employee and delete employee by ID, given bonus to employee. So these are simple JDBC, you can apply using JDBC. So we use only one, uh, we apply only one method. Like in this video, I implement the all things like how we can start and I apply this method only. Okay, register employee. The remaining one you can do easily. They are same process like in this JDBC. So first of all, I create a new application here. So first of all, you click on the file. Then you can see here guys, there are option here, new and in the new, sorry for that project. Okay, in the project, when you scroll down, then you can see here, Maven folder here. In the Maven, Maven project, you can see here, after that simple next. Then it's necessary to check, create a simple project, skip architect selection. If you not check this, this checkbox, so it takes lots of time because it create some some templates like in the Maven, it's easy to build some projects like it gives it it gives the templates to you for creating the projects. If we check this create a simple project skip RT type selection. So we are skipping we are creating from the scratch. So the meaning of this is we are creating this from the scratch. So after that, I simply put here next, then group ID. Group ID is the name of our company. So this is the reverse order of naming convention. Like I can write here, com dot, com dot anything like com dot hoshiar. So after that, artifact ID, what is artifact ID? This is our application name. Like when we complete our this whole application at the last time when we get the result like we convert our application in the jar file or in any file so we give a name to our application so this is our name artifact id so you can give anything name so we write here then app one so this is our application name so after that this is version number 0 0.0.1 0 .0 snapshot means this is the first version after that, you you see in like Play Store, the apps version updating like uh, after some time, after some time. So this is the updation version. Like at the starting phase, this is 0 0.0.1. Okay. So this is the initial version. You can remove snapshot also. And the packaging type is you can select form, var, jar. So I select here, jar. This is optional. You can write the name and description here. This is same as the artifact id name and the this is the description for the your application that you have created so after that finish so this is our app is created after that in this app you can see here guys when i click on this then there are many folders in front of you so first of all is source dot main java after that source main resources source test java source test resources so in the maven there are many like uh, many steps to like uh, first of all validation then we are testing then after that there are some more steps then after that we are installing deploying okay on any server like aws or clouding so these are the phase like when we create our project then all codes we are put in our source.main 
and the resources are the dependency that we need. Like we need the JDBC connector to connect the database to our Java application. Those things we are put in this resources folder. Okay. So these are the folders like in the main folder, main root Java, we are write our code, our code base. And in the, in this resources folder, we are write our dependencies like these things that we are need in our project. Okay. And these two folder are same, but the main and test is different in this. Okay. So what is the meaning of this? Those methods we are write in our main method. So for the, at the last step, when we deploy our application. So first of all, it's necessary to testing our application. Like we are creating a login functionality for the login functionality. If our login functionality is working properly or not. For checking that, we are right here some test cases. And in the test cases, we have some necessary de dependency. Uh, we need some necessary dependency so that we can like uh, download from the MVN site. So these code are we are writing in the test. So in this application, we not need to these things. We are simply apply the whole process like how we can create. So in the target folder, the outcome result when we create our our whole application this um, this application then this is converted in the jar jar file so we select in the jar uh, option in this uh, at the starting phase so this application is converted in the jar file dot jar and this is found find out in the target folder and one thing is after after the de dependency if we write some test cases in the test dot java and the resources they are a dependency need to test our application so after that we get a re result sheet total uh, fully result set like uh, how many cases are passed and how many cases are not passed successfully so in the target folder you find out one index.html file in the html file when you run the html file in the server then you find out the whole whole test cases you can see easily like which test case is passed and which test cases uh, test cases are not passed so guys first of all there are uh, one file here pom.xml in the pom.xml you can see here these are the old things that we are right when we start our project okay so this is the model number like model version this is our bhavan project model okay after that group id is our company name in the reverse order after that this is artifact id means app one this is our application name okay so if this is this is our company name com dot share okay so i write here in the reverse order after that this company may have more than one application so artifact id is changing again and again but this company name is remaining same you can change but this is uh, remaining same but this is app one app two like employee app student app you can create more than one apps for the one company so meaning of this is like i explained to you so version is the initial version 0.0.1 .0 snapshot meaning of snapshot is this is initial version so guys in the jdbc application when you create a jdbc application then for the connection the database to the java application you create you install a jar file of the jdbc driver in your library folder for the connecting the database to the java so in the maven application we no need to download any jdbc driver it's uh, downloaded automatically when we write only the dependency in this xml file so this is so helpful for us if we need more than like we need like 30 dependency 40 dependency so it's so hectic to create a uh, download the each jar file and then put in the lib folder and after that we connect the build path okay to class path okay so in this pom.xml file this is project object model dot xml in this we simply write in the dependencies tag and we write many dependency and after the saving the dependency is downloading from the central repository like in the central repository there are all dependency are mentioned and when we download the dependency then their dependency are in the store in the local repository okay and in this like there are three types of repository like first one is central repository Second one is the remote repository and the third one is the local repository. So what is the meaning of this? First of all, we explain these things. Like 
in the central repository all the dependency that are in the maven that are mentioned here okay when you are working for a company like you are working for like samsung okay so samsung not allowed to his his employees to direct download from the maven central repository so they create a specific repository in this they the senior employees know very well like which which dependency we need in our application so they store these uh, like some like 50 60 or 100 dependency that they need in their application so they create a remote repository and they ask to employees like when you need any dependency then you can download from the remote repository you cannot go to the central repository like they have any chance to the like some bugs are coming in your application or the security purpose so they create create a separate separate remote repository and when you need any dependency then you can use the remote repository for downloading the dependencies okay and when once you enter here dependency then the dependency is come from the remote repository to your local repository so see how we can how we can put the repository like how we can download these dependencies so guys you can see here first of all you see here one thing jdk 1.5 here so this is the lower version of the java so you can not use some operation like lambda function these things here because this version is so less so first of all you upgrade this so how we you can upgrade upgrade so in the notion notes i open this so for the upgrading our version so we use this thing properties so we change our properties of our application so we simply write here but the necessary condition is you need to the establish internet connection first of all because this needs the internet connection here okay so maven.compiler.source 17 you can see here this is 1.5 but we need java 17 here okay so this is the ending uh, closing tag is here and the starting tag is here same thing is here okay so after that guys you simply print here control dot s so now this java 17 is downloading from the this uh, this text okay so after that how you can up upgrade this thing so simply click on the app right click and then you come here okay then click on the maven okay because this is our maven project after that you find out here update project okay because we want to update our product uh, project so after that you can see here force update of the snapshot releases because we want to update our project and simply print here okay so you can see here our jre system library is updated to java 17 okay so using this way we simply uh, create a tag here properties tag okay and we use java 17 here and our project is updated to java 17 so now talk about how we can add the dependencies like we need a java and mysql connector jdbc connector so in the like traditional way you you go to the the in the google and download from the jdbc jar and then build the path those things but here you don't need to do anything here simply these are the dependency tags okay so first of all guys this is the dependency tag so in the dependency tag we simply write here dependency and again dependency this is our closing tag in this dependency tag we write our old dependencies okay so that dependency we want to download that are come in this dependency folder okay and you can see here this is first dependency for the hibernate this is the second dependency for the mysql connector java so if we want to add this dependency then how we can use simply put in this like this is dependency and this is plural tag dependencies in this we write our old dependency so uh, here you can see here this is the group id mysql artifact id mysql connector java and this is the version number 8.0.28 this is very necessary to check like we are downloading this same like 8.0.32 and here i am also right here 
how you can download this like uh, how it you can download from the google so i copy this link okay and after that if i print here okay so this is our website mavanrepository.com artifact id mysql i click on this so guys you see here there are different different versions of the mysql so in the my mysql 8.0.32 if you have 8.0.28 then click on this and when you come down here you can see here this is maven this is gradle these are different different types of application here so here you can download from here you can copy this dependency okay so i copy the same you can see here this is same thing here 8.0.28 so this is 32 in my case this is 32 8.28 or 32 so this is 32 so for this we write here 32 this is for the version 32 copy and simply paste here dependency okay and simply print control s when you print you can see here uh, when you save you can see here downloading and this is downloading that are show at here after the downloading you can see here so guys this is the simple process to download the dependency update our project and after that i create my project that i show to you for the time saving this is the same project that i have created here so this is our employee okay in the employee in the source i write some code here so this is our source so this is com.dao, com.dto, com.ui, com.util. So first of all, we build the connection to the database. So in the com.utils, this is db.utils. So you can see here, guys, this is, I create a connection here. First of all, in db.utils class connection, get connection to db. And first of all, you know very well, we connect to our database. So class.forname, com.myschool.cj.jdbc.driver. Okay, so this is, are in the try case block. And after that, this is our URL of the database, JDBC colon MySQL colon localhost colon 3306. This is the local host of the MySQL. After that, this is my database name, DB1. So you can see here, I create a database here, create database DB1, use DB1. And after that, I create a table employee. And this is my table, okay? Employee ID name, address, salary. Okay, so this is our connection and this is our close connection, connection dot close. This is simple steps. After that, you can see here, this is our DTO class. In the DTO, I create a employee, employee class. Simply, I write here four fields, employee, employee ID, name, address, salary, and this is the constructor of this parameterized constructor. And this is the get a setter method. And this is the override to string method. Okay, and this is our DAO pattern. In the DAO, I apply only one method for the inserting the data. You can add more than one that you want to. This is only same after that. So in this, first of all, we need the connection. So DB utils in the DB utils, we have method get connection to DB. DB utils dot get, get connection to DB. This gives the connection. So connection count is UN. And when you, uh, we uh, write here, so this is the, you can see here importing here, com dot utils dot DB, because this is in the different package here. So after that, I write here string. This is prepared statement. Like we simply write here insert into the employee, employee ID name, address, salary, and value is question mark. And I put it in the prepared statement. Prepared statement ps is equal to cone dot prepared statement and pass the string in this. So after that, we can write here ps dot set int because first thing is employee ID, second thing is name third thing is address and fourth thing is the salary so we put the all things in this after that you know very well when we insert the data in the database then we use ps dot execute update then if this is update successfully then this is print system dot out dot print and successfully inserted otherwise catch is executed and shows some error other after that this is connection is closed at the last time 
uh, after the executing the code. So this is our inserting data and this is your UI dot main. So I create the different, different package for different things. In the UI main, you can see here, I create a employee, new employee, because we create the employee in the DTO class now. So I pass the four parameters here. After that, I create a employee DAO object EMP DAO because in the employee DAO, you can see here, we have method to insert. So employee DAO dot insert data and I am passing here employee. So after that, when we execute this, so I run this application. So running. So this is for the second one, JDBC driver duplicate entry one. Okay. So this is primary key. So now I run again. You can see it successfully inserted. Select start from employee. And here you can see also F1. This is employee and F1. You can see here the Maven dependency is like this. Take the two, three minutes. So Maven dependency in the Maven dependency, you can see here MySQL connector. We not need to create the resource bundle for the connection, the build the path of the connections, all those things. Okay. So this is so easy for create a project with the Maven. Hope you understand that I explained to you. If you have any doubt in this, you can ask in the comment section and मिलते हैं किसी न्यू वीडियो में आगे भी ऐसी वीडियोस आती रहेगी तो वीडियो पसंद आए तो लाइक कर सकते हो चैनल को सब्सक्राइब कर सकते हो थैंक यू सो मच गाइस